Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to create text highlight effect in Filmora 10. So actually this effect is very easy to create in Filmora 10 with just some tip and trick. So let me show you how. Okay, let's go! Okay, so that is an interesting intro, right? And here I am inside Filmora 10. Uh, as you can see that uh, we have a, an image here and for your information, I use Snagit to, uh, to take a screenshot of this newspaper because um, I read the newspaper this morning about the splitting up of uh, Bill Gates and Melinda's. Yeah, so it's a, it's a pity that uh, after 27 years they uh, splitting up after 27 years it, it is sad news so I use uh, Snagit to uh, take a snapshot uh, so this is going to uh, to be an image that I use in this sample project by the way I can close it now to uh, set my uh, CBUs okay and also close this um, uh, image so here uh, here I am inside Filmora 10 so the first thing we have an image here and we have a title here and we have another title here so the first line and the second line and uh, this is the last line uh, of the, the highlight effect okay and uh, here I use some uh, keyframe to zoom in the image by the way you don't need to to learn how to use a keyframe uh, in this tutorial if you want to uh, to learn more about uh, keyframing into uh, in Filmora 9 and uh, Filmora 10 you can watch my tutorial tutorial here or here uh, on top right of the corner uh, on top right of the window okay so let's uh, delete everything on the timeline and the first step, you need to drag and drop the, the image onto the timeline. I'm going to uh, use this one. You can also hit this button, uh, hit this plus button, okay, to uh, to drag and drop it uh, onto the timeline. And there we go. Okay, so uh, here we have an image, about five second duration. So we can extend it to maybe 10 seconds or stuff like that. Uh, uh, how about 20 second? Uh, 20 second because uh, we have a voiceover, so we have to match the voiceover with the the screenshot. So at the at the first part, I want to uh, zoom in uh, zoom into this part, uh, and let's set a keyframe for that. Uh, the first keyframe and the second keyframe, and I'm going to scale scale it up here. Uh, all right, so here we have the uh, the zoom in effect. And at this position, I want to highlight this part. For example, I want to read after a great deal of thoughts and a lot of work and, and our relationship and stuff like that. Uh, it, it is treated from uh, Bill, okay? Uh, here, at this uh, position, uh, the player head, player head at this position, I want to start my highlight, okay? Uh, let's, let's click OK. Now I'm going to title. Uh, go to title and then you select title and the included folder and this is the default title just use this one so just drag and drop this one onto the timeline exactly at the playhead position okay the second thing go to advanced edit to do that right click on the title and then select advanced edit all right and now we have the title here we'll just delete it uh, press delete on my keyboard and now we are going to add a shape here uh, click here add shape and then uh, we are going to select this one rectangular shape uh, click on that onto the timeline and you can see some text here but we can delete the text and now we can change the color of the background to uh, whatever you want so here I use uh, yellow maybe you can use red or blue or green or, or other stuff like that to change the color of the background this background all you need to do is to go to this area customize and then scroll this bar, this bar all the way down here and then uh, here you have the shape field and you can see uh, the color option here you can select here and then change the color here for example if you click more and then you select yellow and then click OK it will be OK but uh, normally your opacity will be at 100% uh, but to create a highlight effect for your text maybe you need to reduce the opacity to 50% but it's just my personal text so you can uh, uh, choose whatever you want 40% uh, or 60% or stuff like that and then we can uh, click here uh, to apply now we need to adjust the size um, aside the size of this rectangular to the line that we want to highlight uh, for example here I want to uh, make it like this okay 
and also make it smaller uh, this position and now we have the highlight effect for our text right but actually it, it does not have animation so we need to select an animation for that the animation that we want to use in this effect is erase erase any animation so we go to animation again and now we going to scroll down here here is the re erase and um, if, if you cannot find it uh, you can scroll it down here and find the erase and then you double click on the animation effect uh, here so we have the animation effect for our rectangular here uh, let's play it All right to control the speed of the animation you can use this slider uh, this slider if you drag it uh, all the way to the left the, the animation speed will be faster uh, for this example we put uh, we put it here and the this uh, this is a disappear effect of the animation you can uh, drag, uh, drag it all the way to the right so it uh, will stay still until the end of the title okay uh, let's play it that's nice right so that is the first line and we are going to create the second and the third line by the way we don't need to do anything more here just click OK to go back to the timeline and now uh, we play the first line and stop here when the when the first uh, first line finish we need to create a second line right and all we need to do is to right click on the title uh, title here and then select copy and then you need to lock this track and press Ctrl V to paste the second title. So we have the second line here. And the next thing we need to uh, select, select it on the preview window here, and then move this line down here to the second line where you want to have another effect here. Adjust it a little bit. And then we have the second line. Let's play it. First line second line and now we are going to create the third line uh, with the same same trick okay and just copy this one copy and lock this track and then press ctrl v okay and then uh, click here and click here to adjust the, uh, this line to this one and then we, we are going to shorten it to this area and that's done right and now we have the, the uh, highlight text highlight effect very nice right so at the end uh, we want to we want all the light disappear at the same time uh, what should we do we just split them split the title okay so we are going to unlock this uh, this title and select all of them by press and hold your control key and then uh, you can click on the title and you select multiple title on the timeline and now you uh, need to click here to split all of them and highlight all of them and delete that's night right and sometimes it's create another keyframe here by the way we can delete it and this is a final result very nice right so that is how you can easily create a uh, text highlight effect in Fimura 10 so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question just let me know in the comment section below if you like the tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and leave your comment below. Goodbye and see you again.